200. 200. Two hundred occasion, crazy. Quit playing with me, man. Big bag, get your money. It's how it look to be number one in the world. Stupid. Stupid. Keep it coming. Okay. Anyway, he's 200 occasion means he's getting 200,000 a show. Except someone today sent me a video, and by the way, this was after the Quan Rondo thing we're going to talk about in a second. Okay. So if you can't if you can't see it, it looks like it's about like I don't know, man. Look like it. Kind of look a little weird. Look at this. There's more people that, that that go to a baby shower than that's at this concert. Anyway, people are saying, yo, if he got paid 200 an occasion for this shit, what the fuck? They wanted a refund. Now, he got my conversation, as you can see. And he said, yo, I had four other shows that same day. You think I give a fuck? Tell them to post the other ones. I think that was a horrible answer, I'm going to be honest with you. Because it's basically him saying, so what? I got paid. That's so what I got paid will turn to you get paid less because people will stop going to your shows. So, you know what I mean? This whole thing about, like, you know, live performances, I was having a conversation with someone today. There's mad artists that can't bring people out live. There's certain artists that can't. A lot of street artists can because their stuff do better, you know, in real life than it does online. However, for some artists like Moneybag Yo, Lil Dirk, even Lil Baby, you're trying to move from beyond a club to now being booked in amphitheaters and possibly even bigger venues. When it's now being a narrative that nobody coming to your shows is on third, obviously that's going to go down. So I looked at this and I'm like, yo, I think Moneybag Yo it could definitely pull at least a thousand people. Right, so I didn't take too much of it. I believe when he said there was four of the shows. I just don't like how he put it down with this saying, yo, you think I give a fuck? You're supposed to give a fuck. Those people that came to the show pay their hard-earned money as well, I would believe. Right? Um, in other news, Quano Rondo, he had a show. First show since the death of King Von. And it went like this. Holy shit, man. Let's just go to sleep. I ain't gonna hold you. Fuck. I, I just said a whole bunch of nothing. All right. I got two more topics and I'm gonna sleep. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> so, l l let me break this down. So, in terms of Quan Rondo, 
And it also applies to um, Money Bag Yo. I know we fans, like, we clown the artists when no one showed up, but really it's not the artist's job to bring people out. It's the promoter. So a promoter is going to say, this artist is an attractive face or name that I could use to bring people out. I'm going to put them on a flyer. I'm going to run promotions. I'm going to run radio ads. I'm going to do whatever I can to bring people out. I'm going to pay the artist A. The total people that's coming out or buy tickets will equal to B. B minus A, that's my profit. So really, when you think about a lot of like clubs and shit like that, it's really on the promoter. So even Money Bag Yo Show, if he was if he signed a contract that he was gonna get eighty thousand dollars, it don't matter if eighty people showed up. He's supposed to get his eighty thousand dollars. Now in some contracts, they'll say, "Hey, you gotta post on your Instagram that you're gonna be here. You gotta do this ad for us to let people know you're gonna be there." Some people don't require that. My thing with uh, Quando's first show, right, is that number one, it is the promoter's job to let people know he's going to be there. Second of all, I'm not going to blame Quando Rondo that much except for how he handled it. I would have handled it differently. If I'm Quando Rondo, you know how I would have done? I would have went on stage, took the mic, I would have blamed it on the promoter. I would have said, yo, I just want to let y'all know for the niggas who claim I ain't showing up to my shows, I ain't pussy. I'm here. I would have performed three songs and dipped. Three songs. Say, I love my fans. I'm here. Showed up. I ain't scared of shit. Performed three songs and dipped. And I would also say, yo, for the people who came out, blah, blah. Here's the other part of it. There's a bunch of people who are scared of Quando Rondo, scared to be around Quando Rondo. They think Quando Rondo has a death wish around him. They think he basically has a, a hit on him. And nobody want to be next to the nigga who you think somebody's going to try to kill or make kill. So fans are, are going to be less likely to come to concert. Other people are less likely going to be around there and hyping it up. And I just personally think that Quando Rondo, if you know that, you can handle that situation differently. I felt like he got clowned for no reason. Um, if I'm him, bro, the win, yo, in what world did y'all think Quando Rondo was pulling out a thousand people at some club anyway? Really, why people care now is they're trying to see if Quando Rondo is showing up to the things he's booked for. Again, I would have grabbed the mic, be like, yo, I'm here. Just let y'all know I ain't scared of shit. Fuck all these bitch ass niggas. I love my fans. I'm going to perform three tracks and I'm out. Because it, it don't look good already. But to not show up, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, he showed up. I'm going to give him credit for that. So I said they showed up with mad AKs and shit. No matter. Again, Quando Rondo, ain't nobody going to be showing up to his concerts like that for a while because they think he going to get killed. You gonna get motherfuckers killed? You're right. I'm gonna be very honest with y'all too. The um, money bag yo thing shocked me, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I think there's still a fear and a phobia of live concerts, even in places like Florida and Texas. So when, when when I see Moneybag Yo concert looks like that and um um Quando Rondo's like concert look like that, I do think there's still people that ain't really ready to go out. I will say this though, New York is opening back up in um um February. People are ready to get out there, and I'm interested to see how um Rolling Loud is gonna look. By the way, for Triller Fest, six nine performed there. I looked at all them videos. There were people, there was empty seats in them way back. It was not filled all the way to capacity. And they had some of the biggest names. Six nine, two chains. Um, um, what's the name again? Obviously, Lil Wayne. I think people aren't that conditioned yet to go back to live events. I don't want to blame it on particular artists. 
That's what it is. Wait, wait, so it's in February? That's in February? No, no, oh, no, no. New York's open up in, in, in July. Whoa. Tripping. July, July, July. It's open up in July. Yo, I, I watched a lot of these motherfuckers, but, like, people, people are a little bit still cautious. Somebody says Trillifest. Nigga, it's Wayne 2 Chains performing. From what I heard, 6 9 brought a good amount of people. There's a there was a huge Mexican Hispanic audience that follows 6 9 That's the great thing about 6 9 as much as people hate him. He's Spanish. The Spanish community. I'm not saying overall. Some of them, they don't give a fuck about the snitching stuff. They care about the fact that he's repping to be one of them. Um they're gonna care about that. Somebody said Drake pulling that amount of people. Yeah, yo, we're, we're learning a very important lesson. Like, there's certain artists. Like, if Uzi had a concert, if Uzi had a concert in Florida, I think Uzi could pull like thirty thousand people. You know how many? You know how many festivals were based on Uzi being there? I was having this conversation about artists who could actually pull real people to show up to a concert, slash artists who were lit online. I think Uzi could sell out that fifteen thousand little stadium. I think Uzi could sell out. Yo, we haven't had an Uzi concert in so so long. Travis Scott, of course. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I love Six Nine's my guy, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I seen I seen it, some of the fan pages saying like you know going along with what he said like yo he's one of the best performers blah blah. I love Six Nine. I had this argument even when Six Nine had his old DJ punch. 6 9 is not even a top 10 performer. Let's be, be very clear. Not because he jumps around and runs from left to right and performs the songs that everybody like don't mean he's a great performer. If you've been to a Drake concert, that shit is fucking choreographed. If you've been, been to like a lot of these top tier motherfuckers concert who have done arena tours, it's choreographed. It's not just performing while your DJ's playing the backing track with your, with your, your, your song not even muted. And by the way, I'm being tough, but I'm being tough on, on my homie. But like, first of all, Six Nine got to get and his DJ got to get the the tracks with the backing version, not the whole fucking. Nobody wants to hear the backing track singing the same shit you're shouting out on mic. It doesn't work like that. Again, I seen some people who were like, "Yo, you should have a poll. Who's a better performer, Travis Scott or Six Nine?" With all due respect, and, and again, Six Nine's my homie, but it's not even close. It's not even close. Let's be very clear. Not even close. X was a phenomenal performance performer, but he still even didn't get to the point where he was. Have y'all gone to see some of these niggas do arena tours? It's a choreographed event. It's not about just like a bunch of like there's energy. Yo, it's highs and lows. Energy. Calm it down. Talk to him. Interlude. Bring somebody out. Like it's all over the place. When I watch certain artists perform they're lit i remember watching young thug perform when he just came out and young thug had all the hot songs and people were like yo young thug is performing the most lit songs i'm like no they said young thug performance is so lit no you like the songs they're hot at the moment just hearing a hot song you're gonna think the performance is lit but it's not the top performers in hip-hop have you ever watched a weekend show i'm being very honest with y'all you ever watch The Weeknd show? You ever watch Drake perform? You ever watch Travis perform? You ever watch Kanye perform? Like, with all due respect, and again, I love 6 ix 9 my guy. If you gonna tell me that 6 ix 9 perform better than Travis, Drake, and them niggas, like, you're out of your fucking mind, bro. Like, them niggas is top tier. Like, nigga, they probably went on a fucking tour um, rehearsal for at least, like, two, three weeks. It's different, bro. Nigga, I went to a Drake performance, and after I seen all this shit that I seen, I said, what the fuck? <laughs> Somebody said, Rick Ross is the top five performer. 
I've never been to a Rick Ross tour performance. And that's the thing about, like, yo, you know all these people who were seen getting embarrassed with, like, oh, there was not a lot of people in your crowd? They were never big touring artists. Doing a club isn't touring. It's basically an appearance. It's a pop-up. For most of these artists who are really in it, like, these motherfuckers got to, like, they're got to go from city to city. You go to one city, pop out. You pop out with the same set. You got to break down and go to the next the next city. I've heard Tory, Tories before. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I'm, I'm glad and, and not to dismiss Tory. Chris Brown, like, come on, bro. When I hear artists tell me, oh, yo, I'm so, my performance is so lit. Because the crowd is screaming because you have hot songs or they like you, doesn't mean your performance is lit. Chris Brown has some performances. Nigga, Chris Brown is giving a whole performance for two hours. They change dancers like five times. They change outfits like ten times. Chris Brown is on stage for 90% of the time, and he's not looking left to see what the nigga's doing next to him. He's not looking right for the nigga to see what the nigga's next to him doing. He's also not looking at them for them to wow the crowd. He's doing the most tricks more than anybody who's the backup dancers. The backup dancers, like, do some shit like this. Chris Brown does, like, a triple backflip. You're like, what the fuck? Chris Brown is the best dancer in the whole fucking set. So when y'all tell me about performances, I'm like, yo, y'all niggas is tweaking. Chris Brown, nigga, Chris Brown, I seen him hold a mic. And he's singing, uh, oh, blah, blah, blah. The dancers come out, and then the lights drop. He, They put on a top hat on him. He put it down almost like Michael Jackson, whatever, whatever. All of a, I don't even know how they change his clothes so fucking quick. He's leaning over. Look like, nigga look like he almost did like a little moonwalk. And all of a sudden, a big spotlight hits him. And the motherfucker puts the mic like this to one of them circular mics. So, like, it could kind of, like, it'll bounce kind of. The nigga does, like, three backflips, grabs the mic back. Almost does a fucking split and, and like, and he's like, pop in. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm sorry, bro. You can't tell me that. I'm sorry. You can't tell me that these little rap niggas just running up and down. Like, I'm sorry. Them niggas ain't perform like Chris. I'm sorry. Them niggas, like, that nigga Chris Brown is doing too much. That nigga Chris Brown is on some other shit. I watched one of Chris Brown performances and Forgive me for what I'm going to say, but I looked at this and says, it's no way this nigga ain't on crack. Ain't no fucking way. This nigga's doing some shit that I'm like, yo, humans ain't, humans ain't supposed to do. The nigga did a fucking backflip standing on one leg. They did a front flip standing on one leg. No motion, no nothing. I said, this nigga on some shit. This boy is on some shit. So when y'all tell me about who could perform this and third, Bro, we got to talk about the greats. Nigga, like, Trippy Red and them niggas can't perform. Like, no disrespect to Trippy, but you watch a little Pump performance. Lil Pump, Lil Pump, Lil Pump. Like, that shit is garbage. Like, no disrespect. I love Lil Pump. But come on, bro. That, that's not no top-tier performance. The song is carrying you. You ever watch a Beyonce performance? Nigga, that's what I'm talking about, performance. I'm telling you, Ariana, I don't know how Ariana performance is going. Is Rihanna be going in? I know Beyonce, nigga, Beyonce, yo, Beyonce, Beyonce be, yo, when I be watching Beyonce, you can't tell the difference between Beyonce and Serena Williams, bro. She is going crazy. Beyonce goes crazy. For the newer artists, I really feel like they believe that if people are chanting their song, it's lit. No, it's not, bro. Your song is carrying you. Deliver a performance. The we, the, yo, and by the way, I can say this now. When Drake started first touring, his performance was trash. 
The nigga used to just get on stage just shaking his hand. Garbage! Drake became a great performer. Nigga, you know what Drake charged a, a fucking ticket? Nigga, I paid five hundred dollars for a ticket, nigga. If a nigga just came on stage like this, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. I want a refund, nigga. I call my bank, charge back. Fuck out of here. You have to get better. I remember I was talking to uh, six. Uh, that's when Punch was like rocking. I'm like, yo, we're the best performers in the world. And I'm like, and I'm looking and I'm like, yo, nigga, because you're performing Billy, Kuda, and Gummo, Gummo, and you're taking your shirt off. You're running left and running right. If you think that's a great performance, my nigga. And by the way, I'm gonna tell Six Nine all all this shit too, cause like you know, there's a lot of delusional motherfuckers around. They be like, "Oh my god, you're the best performer ever in the world." Fuck out of here. I'm listening to Six Nine perform like he, he performed in, 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 in um in Miami. No breath control. What yo? Jay Z's a great performer. Let me tell you this. Yes, he doesn't dance. He doesn't do anything like that. But listen, go listen to Jay live, nigga. Jay raps all the fucking words. I hate when rappers just be like. Like, they just shouting over their own shit. They say half of the shit. You know, they're out of breath. They're like, <sighs> they put the mic to the crowd. Like, they can't rap their own shit. Nigga, I didn't come here to rap your job. I came here to listen. I like, yo, niggas like Jay. Jay comes in. Yo, that nigga will literally be on stage giving you the whole verse. Literally. From him rapping it. These niggas is, is trying to run left, right. Throw water, like doing the moonwalk, like these niggas doing the worm. They're not even rapping the songs. I mean, I'm being very honest. Wayne is a good performer. Wayne is an amazing performer. Wayne is an amazing performer. Wait, Kanye is an amazing performer. That's what I was trying to tell, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to remind even even um uh, um uh, um six nine. That's the level of performance that you could, you have to do to say you're one of the best. Having 300 niggas on stage and shouting and sweating isn't a great performance. That's your workout for the day, buddy. But for the niggas who paid, we want you to rap those songs. I seen little Baby do it one time. I don't know if he does it all the time. And and from what I've heard, Young Thug have gotten better at performance, but like he wasn't always the best. But these days, I'm hearing a bunch of like rappers. Yo, rappers always think they're the best performing because the crowd is giving them some type of like like applause. But the crowd is applauding the hit song you have. They not applauding your you rapping it. The weekend's a goat, of course. Nikki's gonna perform it. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I guess I guess this is just a humbling, a humbling like even speech for the younger artists. If you're a younger artist and you think you're a lit performer, calm yourself down. Okay? Nikki's great at performing. Drake used to be trash at performing. He became good. Wayne is a like nigga. Shit, Wayne plays the guitar when he's fucking performing. You get me? John Legend's a good performer. He also he plays the piano. Um, who else? Beyonce. Shit. She probably top two, if not the best performer of this generation. We're not talking about Michael and people like that. Rest in peace, Michael Jackson. There's a lot of people who are really on their shit. Somebody says Sean Dawn. Yo, Big Sean messaged me. So, 